we just witnessed Orpheus knocking on the walls of the underworld. And now I'm pleased to speak with two of its denizens, the remarkable singers playing Eurydice and her father, Aaron Morley and Nathan Berg. Oh. Hi, Renee. Hello, Aaron. <laughs> You've gone from expectant bride to dead wife in that roller coaster of a first half. Have you ever played a role that has such a dizzying range of situations and feelings? I think maybe only Lucia, but yeah, it, it's, it's quite a journey for her. And um, in the first half, I mean, it, it just, the action is so fast. So we really go through so many different changes so quickly. And, You're on um, stage all the time. Yeah, it's, it's a dizzying journey. Oh, yeah. Nathan, congratulations on making your Met debut with Thank this you opera. Very much. The relationship between father and daughter is at the heart of this story. So, what do you draw upon to create such a moving portrayal? Well, I'm not a father, so I have to uh, pretend, and I couldn't be prouder of my fake daughter. <laughs> but uh, and, uh, actually, Aaron uh, gives me so much to work with that uh, I can just, uh, I can just inhabit the part and, uh, and yeah. it works. You're so yeah. sympathetic. I'm shocked he's not a father because you, you are <laughs> yes. absolutely the best stage dad a girl could ask oh. for. And what has it been like for both of you creating your roles with a composer and librettist in the rehearsal room? Oh, I mean, it is amazing to have them. Yeah. It really is. Mozart never showed up for any rehearsals of mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I mean, it's a luxury because yeah. we really get to talk to them. We get to um, create the production with them and, and Matt said he made some changes lots for you. of changes yeah and Sarah too we talked to them about um, a lot of things that um, that might work better in our voices mm -hmm. and a lot of things that might work better in the in the dramatic um, um, journey for them and uh, that's and they're so great. supportive as well yeah. they, they, uh, it is pretty amazing actually to you don't realize that the composer and the librettist are sitting there often. How difficult was the score to master? How, how challenging is it? It takes a bit of work. Yeah. There, there are so many little details, but all of the details are given so that you don't have to understand the style, which is something that right. isn't understood yet. So yeah. It's there. Pretty, so, Aaron, yeah. HD yeah. audiences have enjoyed you in roles like Olympia and Offenbach's The Tales of Hoffman. Mm -hmm. Of course, Sophie in Strauss's Der Rosenkavalier. Yes, good you memories. Fabulous. <laughs> and Sister Constance Stalls and Poulenc's dialogues of the Carmelites. So how does the role of Eredice compare? I mean, she's certainly um, the longest uh, role I've done here. Mm. And um, I think, you know, the she's the, the catalyst for everything that happens and um, a lot falls on her. Mm. And so that, that feels new. Um, it's certainly the most modern opera I have uh. done here. Um, I think it's it's really exciting to to be presenting a new work that is a very new experience. Um, so I feel like all of those experiences help to build me, build up to this moment really, um, because it it just has been um, a whole new world really. True, yeah. absolutely. And the relationship between father and daughter reaches its tragic peak in the final act. Without giving away the ending, how do you both feel when the curtain comes down? It is quite tragic. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Have your tissues uh, ready. Yeah. Uh, I I feel I feel actually a little bit of a, a sense of peace at the end, mm. um, although um, it is quite yeah. quite sad. No, um, in some ways, there's some resolution. It's uh, interesting yeah. because there is yeah. such a strong father daughter bond in the the way this is written. Yeah. So not to That's give things good. away. Yeah. So Aaron and Nathan, bravi, and thank you for speaking with me. Oh, thank you so much, Renee. Thank you. It's Enjoy, really everybody. <laughs>